hello darlings welcome back to my channel today i'm sharing with you guys the second hairstyle in my wedding slash bridal hairstyle series so if you're new here or you just did not see last week's tutorial feel free to go ahead and check out my wedding playlist that i'll be linking down in the description box i shampooed my hair today and i put it in these big plaits so i'm just going ahead right now and undoing these plaits and then lightly detangling my hair So first I'm going to put my hair up in a loose catch up and I have several tutorials on my channel showing you guys how I normally put my hair into a high ponytail. And the gel I'll be using today is the got to be glued hair gel. Um, this is the first time I'm using this yellow tube got to be glued gel in my hair and I absolutely love it. I bought it several months ago because I could not get the black one that I normally use but I was afraid to use it on my natural hair so I just had it there. And I completely ran into the black one about a week ago so the choice was between this yellow got to be glue gel or the tuft and the tuft is not strong enough for my hair and I wanted a really sleek ponytail so I said let me try this gel and man I'm so glad I tried it it reminds me of the gorilla snot gel which I have not been able to get since I've been here in Germany so I'm so happy that I tried this one today and it worked just as equal to the gorilla snot gel which is actually one of my favorite gels for catching up my hair really sleek it does get a bit flaky and it dries extremely fast so as you put it on in here you have to quickly brush it and it kind of have a sticky sticky feeling like glue i think it's even stronger than the gorilla's not gel but like wow i'm so happy i used this gel today so i'm recatching up my hair like i always do And next I'm going in and adding some moisturizer to the ends of my hair and then I'm going to put it in a plait. I feel like I haven't been doing so much with my baby hairs lately so I really wanted to go in um, for this hairstyle. Not really a pronounced baby hair but like my little side swoops that I like to do. So I'm just going in again and just cleaning that up brushing it in adding some more gel so that it looks really nice now to make the bun i'm taking two packs of soft jumbo canicle on here and i removed the elastic band from the braid and i'm using a scrunchie instead so i'm putting the first pack of braid around my bun and then i'm going in and applying the second pack around my bun so for the first pack of braid i'm gonna make one big twist with that and I'm twining the twist a little bit like you guys can see I just twine like I'm making a rope twist I'm not doing it I'm not twining it very tight like I'm doing a full rope twist but I want it to be very defined in the hairstyle so I'm twining it just one time I just curve it one time like you guys are seeing right here and then I stop and then I twist it around and I continue that process until I reach the end of the braid For the second pack of braid that's around my hair, I'm using the hair tie as a margin. So I'm going to make two twists instead of one with this. And I'm doing the same technique with the slight twining of the hair while I'm twisting it. Now I'm wrapping around the braid and I'm starting with the big twist. And I'm just wrapping it around like you guys see me doing it here. Next, I'm taking one of the smaller twists and I'm going in the opposite direction to which I carried the first one in. And the third twist, I'm just going the opposite direction to the first one. I don't think it really matter as long as you're having the smaller twist blending with the big twist in a nice um, cohesive way. 
that's what I'm trying to achieve right here. So I'm just taking it in a direction where the smaller twists fall in the crease of the bigger twist and not fall on top of the fluffy part of the bigger twist, if you understand what I'm saying. I made the twists in different sizes because this helps add some dimensions to the hairstyle. And for a bridal hairdo, even when it's very simple like this one, you want it to look a bit more intricate than it actually is. So the different sizes and the placements of the twists really help to bring that across. And now it's time to accessorize the hair. And I'm just going ahead and adding this pearl clip that I picked up at my local beauty supply store. And this is it for this quick, simple, beautiful, classic high bun. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and that you found it helpful. And if you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, share it. And also, if you haven't already, please be sure to hit that subscribe button. And also hit the notification bell, that way you'll be notified each week when I post a new video. I thank you guys so, so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video.